बात करना चाहूंगी तीन सौ सत्तर की मनसूखी के बारे में जहां पे हर पाकिस्तानी ये क्लेम करता है कि दया सेलिब्रेटिंग यू नो आर्टिकल एब्रुगेट जहां पे हुआ था फाइव अगस्त को हुआ था दया सेलिब्रेटिंग दैट डे एज अ ब्लैक डे फॉर होल कश्मीर नो इन द रिसेंट आई कैन से समन होम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल अमित शाह So, as a Kashmiri, do you think that that was a black day for you? No, no. Black. You cannot say the black day. Black day is even you can say uh, whatever they had promised for the uh, people with the people of Kashmir Valley. If they will fulfill all the promise, and there is no issue in it. If, uh, listen, because being as the youth, I clearly said yes. We are living in the democratic country. We are living in India. If our central government has promised. I feel on the ground zero. This is what actually I'm telling you. But yeah, as far seriously. as my opinion is concerned, like I have studied uh, a lot of things about it, like G20 meeting, smart city, and uh, government be calm kar rahi hai. Like uh, uh, MR ki uh, project ke baare mein baat ki jaye. So that yeah, that is a first uh, FDI uh, project uh, uh, in uh, India, uh, in our country, uh, and uh, that too is given to uh, our country. Uh, so we can't uh, play. Uh, I had clearly mentioned that it's obviously a good if some developmental projects uh, will exactly. be uh, done in the Kashmir Valley, it will definitely boost the Kashmir. Even yeah, so, we cannot so, deny. So uh, basically, that my question is that sorry, uh, sorry, that you uh, are just, a Kashmiri. So basically, just, my question just, is that let me complete first. Add, uh, sorry to interrupt. I just want to add one thing that yeah, we break. the record of tourists yes uh, recently we had seen the two crore uh, tourists visit to the kashmir valley it will exactly. definitely give the boost to the economic status right but at the other side we cannot see this just the one side of the coin we have being a नमस्कार आदाब सस्कल असलम मैं हूँ आपके साथ फायका जावेद एक बार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है फिर से मेरी चैनल पे आपका जैसे कि आप जानते हैं कि कश्मीर की डेवलपमेंट पे इंडिया की डेवलपमेंट पे मैं मुख्तसर बात करती हूँ कई कश्मीरी लोगों को बुलाती हूँ इंडियन लोगों को बुलाती हूँ और यहाँ पे खसूस उनके साथ बातचीत होती है तो आज हमारे साथ हमारे पॉडकास्ट पे जुड़ चुके हैं एक कश्मीरी जर्नलिस्ट है शेख इमरान साहब हमारे साथ यहाँ पे जुड़ चुके हैं सीनियर मोस्ट जर्नलिस्ट है और काफी सालों से जो है कश्मीर में ऑन ग्राउंड काम कर रहे हैं सबसे पहले आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया शेख इमरान साहब वक्त देने के लिए थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया करने के लिए आज जिस मुद्दे पे हम बात करना चाहेंगे आर्टिकल 370 की बात करेंगे सीधे ही जो कि आर्टिकल 370 की अगर हम बात करें तो इस पे कई चर्चा शाई हुई कई लोगों ने अपनी विचारधारा रखी लेकिन आपसे जानेंगे एज ए कश्मीरी जर्नलिस्ट आपको क्या लगा कि 370 और पैंतीस के हटने के बाद जो कश्मीर में डेवलपमेंट हुई किस प्रकार से हुई ये एक प्रोपागेंडा था ये कश्मीरियों के खिलाफ एक प्रोपागेंडा था या फिर सच में ही जो है 370 के बाद कश्मीरियों को राइट्स मिले वहां पे डेवलपमेंट हुई और क्या से क्या सिनेरियो रहा कश्मीर का 370 के हटने के बाद आप जरा हमारे दर्शकों को आगा कराए देखिये अगर आप बिग एस इमीडिएट बिकॉज हम ग्राउंड जीरो पे काम करते आए हैं और अगर आप सियासत के हवाले से 370 को देखेंगे आर्टिकल 35 ए 370 को देखेंगे सो इट वाज कम्प्लीटली वी कैन से द पॉलिटिकल राइवरली मतलब टू स्क्रैप द आर्टिकल 370 वाज इन द मैनिफेस्टो ऑफ बीजेपी एंड बीजेपी टू कंप्लीट ऑन द नेम ऑफ दैट इफ वी गिव अस द वोट एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली अप्रोग्रेट द आर्टिकल 370 व्हिच दे हैड ऑलरेडी सेड इन देयर लाइक मेनी इंटरव्यूज लाइक देयर लीडर्स देयर पॉलिटिकल वर्कर्स दे हैड मेंशनड Uh, many times that it was in our manifesto to scrap uh, to abrogate article 370 and 35a and we had done and uh, at the other side our regional political parties like we have here in national conference we have here pdp we have here the most uh, uh, i can say the oldest party uh, which is the national party the national congress and right now we have the new uh, new uh, newest party you can say like there is uh, the party of alta bukhari there is a party of sajad gani loan he was uh, with the politics since last uh, many years now even you had already recently seen that nuklam nabi azad who spent almost 50 to 60 years in the uh, uh, polit- in congress political party and now recently i think some 7 uh, 8 months back he is uh, at his own democratic azad party yeah, right so if we talk about uh, politically uh, about that article 370 it's oh, definitely uh, their narrative that uh, they want to work uh, they want to speak on it and uh, continuously they want to engage people whether article 370 uh, we said we see some political parties from the regional uh, side they said that definitely article 370 will be back with the bank and somehow there were other political parties as you can say like the pgp in kashmir and uh, even pmo hmo they had clearly said that 
Article 370. It was our in our manifesto. Once we had scrapped, uh, abrogated Article 370, it will never come back. Whatever now, the political parties, the regional political parties, who are claiming that they will work on it and they will definitely get back Article 370. As per BJP, they said that they are making people fool again on the name of 370. But as far as the developmental works are concerned, you have maybe seen like uh, recently. smart city and other project uh, uh, you can say uh, developmental projects even uh, in uh, parliament financial minister had recently announced the budget of 2023 for the kashmir and he she said uh, like she mentioned many uh, project works and she raised or she you know you can say she announced the funds uh, for the kashmir valley in particularly for the developmental works yeah somehow we can say that uh, uh, ut government we are not a uh, state anymore after the abrogation of uh, after abrogation of 370 as well the state hood uh, jo hamare yahan pe like our we are in the ut the state has been converted in the ut ut administration and currently we are living under the ut administration and ut administration i can say they tried uh, very best from their side to uh, develop kashmir to give the development works to work on it but uh, some of you can say like you had already seen uh, there is a big issue and there is a biggest concern right now in the kashmir valley that is the increasing rate of unemployment which yeah. is on yeah. top right so yeah, exactly. i think the ut government as well as the central government they had promised at that time that uh, they will give the job government jobs to the youth of kashmir valley and the jobs will come to the kashmir after abrogation of 370 but somehow we had seen on the ground zero that there were many recruit- recruitments back after some uh, time or you can say some months but what comes the result that everybody every aspirant maximum aspirant aspirants of the different examinations or but they propose they protest in the press colony and they protest uh at different on different places as they claim that uh, there was a scam in the recruitment uh, like fa is there and the other you can say uh, aspirants were there also who protest continuously so uh, i can say yes government tried very best uh, like uh, in front of you we have the smart city project which is going on right now in srinagar particularly we had seen that the project the work is going on in the heart of the city that is on uh, lal chowk from jahangir chowk to i can say the trc yes but uh, you know, we the administration i can say the ut administration have already see, uh, uh, have also seen some different uh, you know districts there uh, where the most developmental works are yet to need uh, and they need to focus on it ha huh. something we can say all about that the future of every state or you can say the future of every nation is the youth if youth are depressed if youth are stressed just because of the increasing of unemployment so i think the ut administration has all uh, have all also think about that dekhiye aap se ek aur sawal puchna chahungi as far as unemployment is concerned अगर बात करेंगे यूएई यूएई uh, की एक एफडीआई प्रोजेक्ट जो है यानी कि एफडीआई इन्वेस्टमेंट पहली बार जो है कश्मीर में होने वाली है आपने सुना भी होगा कि 500 करोड़ जो है इमार की एक शॉपिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स जो है उसमें से uh, 250 करोड़ का वो शॉपिंग मॉल बनेगा और बाकी जितना भी इन्वेस्टमेंट uh, है वो आई uh, सेक्टर्स पे जो है uh, लगाया जाएगा तो आपको नहीं लगता है एज ए कश्मीरी एज ए जर्नलिस्ट आपको नहीं लगता है कि इट विल प्रोवाइड अ बेटर प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर आर यूथ एंड ये हमारी को एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रोवाइड कर सकता है क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट ने हमारी सरकार ने कई कहीं ना कहीं ये भी दावे किए हैं कि जितनी जितनी डेवलपमेंट होती जाएंगी जितनी जितनी आईटी सेक्टर्स जितने जितने शॉपिंग मॉल्स जितने जितने प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्रीज जो है हमारी वादी में क्रिएट किए जाएंगे ये एक बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म हो सकता है हमारे यूथ के लिए जितनी भी हमारी अनएम्प्लॉयड यूथ है वो आ, उनको एम्प्लॉयमेंट मिल सकती है और धीरे धीरे जो है एक नेशन को यू नो टाइम लगता है ये आप भी देख चुके हैं कि कितनी ज्यादा डेवलपमेंट हो भी चुकी है उसके साथ साथ आपने कुछ डिमेरिट्स भी देखे डिसएडवांटेज भी देखे जैसे आपने कुछ ब्लैकलिस्ट कंपनीज की बात की तो आपको क्या लगता है कि इन चीजों से शायद ही फ्यूचर में जो है अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट को कश्मीर में कम नहीं किया जा सकता है claims of the ut government that they are uh, you know claiming that uh, in upcoming time or you can see in future the youth of kashmir will be engaged with the different posts but uh, we had seen uh, the same i uh, we i can see we have seen some uh, other uh, promises as well like before uh, lieutenant governor manoj sinha uh, over previous or you can see the our former uh, governor satyapal satyapal malik maybe you had remember that he claimed that uh, 50000 jobs will come to the kashmir like 50000 posts will be created in the kashmir valley for the youth of kashmir so that the uh, you know uh, uh, the employment uh, ratio of the kashmir will be decreased 
but yeah somehow may, maybe you are also working on the ground you had already seen also that the youth of kashmir are depressed and whenever you just try to talk with the youth they you know uh, are clearly saying that we are uh, we are educated youth we are we are degree holders we have the degrees we have uh, like the qualifications but unfortunately we don't have the better platform so that uh, we can work there we can get the best uh, you know job there and we will uh, earn uh, we will you know give some relief to our families as well so yeah maybe you talked about the 500 cr investment uh, which has recently announced uh, under the leadership of ut government right so we would have to see ki like it's it's okay it's good uh, i can say for the uh, for the kashmir valley but when it will come when it will be start and when it will be complete we have to see mm-hmm. there as well exactly and, uh, you had already seen the different governments even one uh, at the time one government you know announcing something later on and the next government comes and they uh, scrapped all the orders they scrapped everything so at the end of the day i can say that until and unless something will not come something will not be done practically on the ground zero for the youth of valley uh, till that day i can say that uh, it's obviously 50 50 आपसे एक और सवाल पूछना चाहूंगी जो कि डेवलपमेंट्स के हवाले से बात करें जी ट्वेंटी की मीटिंग्स हो रही है स्मार्ट सिटी की स्मार्ट सिटी कंप्लीट हो रही है क्या लगता है आपको ये सारी डेवलपमेंट्स देखिए आपको कैसा लग रहा है एज ए कश्मीरी आप में कैसा जज्बा दिखाई देखने को मिलता है आप हमारे दर्शकों को कुछ बता दें देखिए इट्स रियली अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द कश्मीर बिकॉज एज यू नो वेरी वेल जी ट्वेंटी यूर टॉकिंग विद जी ट्वेंटी समिट एंड दिस ईयर टू जीरो टू थ्री इंडिया गॉट अ चांस टू host g20 summit and the kashmir is also the part of that g20 right so yeah, we had already seen that the ut government and you can say the ut administration are uh, you know continuously busy since last 3 4 months and they are continuously you know engaged with the preparations for the g20 and we had seen that all the security arrangements had has been done yeah obviously uh, kashmir is already famous uh, in across the uh, i can say the world but this is also uh, this will also help uh, the whole kashmir to promote it on the another level and uh, government uh, recently uh, as far as the security concern, security arrangements are concerned as 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 far as the other special arrangements are concerned a uh, utic uh, government has claimed that they had already prepared everything so that the host uh, i can say the uh, g20 will you know host here it's good i can say ek aur sawal aapse एक और सवाल आपसे पूछना चाहूंगी डेवलपमेंट्स के ही हवाले से बात करेंगे सेंसर टनल जो कि इंडिया की पहली दो टनल्स है बनने जा रही है जम्मू कश्मीर में जहां पे गवर्नमेंट ने दावा किया है कि सेंसर बाजार तक लगाए जाएंगे जो कि आपको टाइम टू टाइम इंफॉर्मेशन देते चलेंगे कहीं डिजास्टर प्रोन एरिया है या शूटिंग स्टोन प्रोन एरिया है तो वहां पर बाजाबा काम किया जाएगा क्या लगता है आपको ये प्रोजेक्ट जो है कब तक कम्प्लीट होगा इससे क्या फवायद हो सकते हैं हमारी कश्मीरी जनता को या जितने भी ट्रेवलर्स है जितने भी यात्री है जो कि इंडिया के मुख्तलि स्टेट से या फिर वर्ल्ड के किसी भी कोने से आएंगे किस किस्म की सहूलियात उसे मैसर होंगी आप जरा और इंफॉर्मेशन से हमारे दर्शकों को आगाह कराएं सी फाइका और प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट्स वी कैन नॉट से दैट नो दे दे हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग राइट इफ वी हैव हियर समथिंग इट्स हैव इट्स ऑल बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट्स व्हिच दे हैड गिवन राइट और यूनिवर्सिटीज आर देयर मेडिकल कॉलेजेस आर देयर एंड अदर थिंग्स आर देयर it has been given by the previous governments yeah uh, but uh, you were talking about the roads you were talking about the highways you were talking about the tunnels it hmm. or it also should be happen because if the government is right now in the hands of bjp in center and it's their responsibility uh, as far as the current time are concerned develop more and more so that hmm. the people will be attracted towards the kashmir valley and uh, it can give some relief somehow relief to the people of valley and to the people of uh, and to all the people who are you know traveling from these roads and uh, due to just uh, some uh, i can say unconditional situations people are you know very stressed but yeah somehow it will definitely give the benefits for the people who will uh, tra- travel across uh, jammu and kashmir valley and it's good you said that it happens first time that the first tunnel will be rec- uh, you know uh, constructed uh, so we welcome all these things but uh, government should also think as i had already mentioned in the beginning of unemployment yeah this is that is the biggest issue you uh, you know right now we everybody in kashmir valley is talking about the increasing of trucks increasing of mm. like our youth are uh, partly engaged in the uh, uh, drug activities 
how is mm. um, i can uh, i feel like from my side that uh, we when mm. whenever we saw the drug peddler who was who got arrested by the police um, maximum people are there who are educated and who are in the drugs i can't say yeah completely just because of the unemployment uh, unemployment in the valley but ha somehow uh, it's also uh, this is also the responsible i can say the right of unemployment is also the responsible for these things देखिए अगेन बात करना चाहूंगी 370 की मनसूखी के बारे में जहां पे बाहर पाकिस्तानी ये क्लेम करता है कि दया सेलिब्रेटिंग यू नो आर्टिकल एब्रुगेट जहां पे हुआ था 5 अगस्त को हुआ था दया सेलिब्रेटिंग दैट डे एज अ ब्लैक डे फॉर होल कश्मीरी व्हाट डू यू थिंक कि आप इस चीज से एग्री करते हैं कि दैट वाज अ ब्लैक डे फॉर यू बिकॉज़ यू आर आल्सो अ कश्मीरी एंड यू आर आल्सो रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ कश्मीर एज अ जर्नलिस्ट कितनी सच्चाई है इस बात I uh, I am not I don't want to go there that what our uh, what the other countries are claiming that what happened in the article uh, like on 5 August yeah everybody knows that one thing which hurts me the most that statehood right and we had seen first time that the most developmental state has been converted back into the UT which was very mm. unfortunate and, uh, nobody can deny these things and whenever honorable home minister uh, even he promised on the floor that the statehood will be given back to the kashmir but now the situation is different and uh, recently we had uh, you know uh, uh, in the recent i can say somehow uh, when the home minister of india honorable uh, amit shah so as a kashmiri do you think that that was a black day for you no no black you cannot say the black day black day is even you can say uh, whatever they had promised for the uh, people with the people of kashmir valley if they will fulfill all the promise and there is no issue in it if kashmiri can get every right uh, as per as because we we are living in the democratic country right so everyone have the same rights so i don't uh, i'm not uh, considering that that um, it was a black day or it was this it was that but ha somehow so no, whatever the government think that you are uh, given the proper rights by the government as far as obviously like, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, even uh, to get a job is the right of the youth if a youth cannot mm-hmm. get a job so what does that mean right uh, listen because being as the youth i clearly said yes we are living in the democratic country we are living in india if our center government has promised it, uh, fica we are not discussing we are not debating here we are actually in conversation and you are asking me that uh, what's actually the situation on ground zero i'm not giving my own opinion whatever i feel on the ground zero this is what actually i'm telling you but yeah, as far as my opinion yeah. is concerned like i have studied uh, a lot of things about it like g20 meeting smart city and uh, government bhi kaam kar rahi hai like uh, uh, mr ki uh, project ke bare mein baat ki jaye to that yeah, that is a uh, first uh, fbi uh, project uh, uh, in uh, india uh, in our country uh, and uh, that uh, was given to uh, our yeah, uh, uh, So we can't I had clear, clearly mentioned that it's obviously a good if some developmental projects uh, will exactly. be uh, done in the Kashmir Valley, it will definitely boost the Kashmir. Even yeah, so, we cannot so, uh, deny. So basically, that my question is that uh, sorry, uh, sorry, that you uh, are just, a Kashmiri. So basically, my question to, is that let me complete first. Add, uh, sorry to interrupt. I just want to add one thing that yeah, we break. the record of tourists yes uh, recently we had seen the two crore uh, tourists visit to the kashmir valley it will exactly. definitely give the boost to the economic status right but at the other side we cannot see this just the one side of the coin we have being as a journalist or you can say being as a responsible citizen we have to see both the sides of the coin we are not denying that government had not done anything in the kashmir valley yes whatever i analyze on the ground zero whatever the people response from there this is what actually i repeat the same even i'm not denying that the government is not doing their work even it's their responsibility because they they got the vote from the people and the government is meant by the people not uh, you it's obviously clear and it's the responsibility they cannot deny these facts but if you promise it something with the people you have to fulfill yeah uh, you, at the other side you cannot deny government is doing work in the kashmir valley like you mentioned again and again developmental projects and other things we are not de- denying those facts but the thing is like we said it's our responsibility and it's uh, the right time for the government of ut to think about the youth so that even i can, if i can say that everything is going on very well but one there is a one loophole which that is government somehow government is not focusing on uh, the youth that what actually they want obviously you said that everybody is trying to get their own businesses everybody is trying to make their life 
better i mean we they have the decrees they have the qualifications they have the education and being uh, living in the democratic country they have the respo- in uh, it's their right to get a job right so being again exactly. and again i am re- repeating these things i'm repeating these things that's it's just because i saw the reality on the ground zero i had seen a lot of youths i have seen thousands of youths on the ground why they were raising the questions mm-hmm. and they were raising for the rights that they were asking for the job if they have there had been something done wrong even ut government has claimed yes they will definitely work on it but clearly i can say that uh, you were talking continuously about the article 370 i'm not any uh, i'm not any a political leader that i will politicize on uh, you know i will do a politics on article 370 say that because as i have uh, i clearly mentioned in the beginning that the future of the nation are the youth if we empower the youth it means that we are empowering our nation and government should not deny these things also that yes somehow government got failed uh, to provide those things to the youth of india i can say not just in the kashmir which mm. they are uh, you know uh, i can say they are uh, uh, you know wo jo haq rakhte hai ya unka i mean uh, like which is the right so us piece pe bhi government ko focus karne ki zarurat hai but ha somehow you can faika uh, you should also consider these things like पॉलिटिक्स की वजह से भी एक बड़ा इंप्रेशन रहता है बिकॉज आई कैन सी कि कश्मीर की अगर बात करें कश्मीर यूटी और जम्मू कश्मीर इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर स्टेट्स बिकॉज द हॉट पॉलिटिक्स और यू कैन सी द कंट्रोवर्शियल पॉलिटिक्स यू कैन सी जैसे द कश्मीर वैली इवन आफ्टर सिंस आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी यू है लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑन द ग्राउंड जीरो इवन यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन दैट वट विल बी द नेक्स्ट एंड विच वन लीडर विल बी वो कहाँ होगा उसके बाद आज यहाँ होते कल वहां होते आज इधर एक स्टेटमेंट वहां एक स्टेटमेंट तो उस पोलिटिकल फाइट की वजह से भी एक बड़ा इम्पैक्ट है इस पे बट आई कैन से लाइक इसको साइड में रख के जितने भी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है आई कैन से कश्मीर जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस है ट्रिमेंडस जॉब लाइक फॉर द डिफरेंट ऑन द सोशल इश्यूज एंड दे आर वर्किंग डेफिनेटली टायरलेसली टू मेक you know maintain the peace in the jammu and kashmir which uh, they are doing since last 3 4 years thank you so much uh, sheikh imran saab for joining us and letting us know about mm-hmm. various truthful thing on ground aapka bahut bahut shukriya again and uh, darshako ye the hamare saath sheikh imran saab jo ke ek journalist the jinhone kya kuch bola inki bhi ek hi iltijati government se ke logo ki unemployment ke liye yani ke kashmir valley mein jo log अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फेस कर रहे हैं इनसे जो है आ, लोगों को जो है छुटकारा पा सके और गवर्नमेंट उनके लिए भरपूर काम करे तो जुड़े रहे मेरे साथ ऐसे ही प्रोग्राम्स और ऐसे ही रियलिस्टिक फेसेस से आपको आगा कराती रहूंगी तब तक के लिए जय हिंद जय भारत जय कश्मीर